Hey guys, welcome back to Somewhat Simple. If you are looking for the perfect Valentine gift for your sweetheart, we have got you covered. Today we're showing you four different ideas that are super thoughtful and also very easy. Let's get started. Okay, so we have four easy but very thoughtful ideas. Um, I'm gonna link everything in the description below so you can go to Somewhat Simple and find all that you need for all four of these ideas. First up, we have this fun printable. It's called the ABCs of what I love about you. And we have obviously all the letters in a printable that you can just cut out and you can write everything starting with like a letter of the alphabet. So when I did this for my husband, I went through and I actually added some pictures to each of these as well. So like for E, I put encouraging because my husband is so encouraging and I had a picture of him out coaching my oldest son um, playing baseball when he was a little boy. So you can do it that way where you can um, think of a personality trait or something that you love about your husband or your sweetheart. Or the other option that we have is this is the same printable just with a different cover and it is called the ABCs of Us. And for this, you can do, instead of a personality trait that you love about him, you do a memory or something about the two of you. So for A, I wrote Amsterdam, and I talked about our trip to Amsterdam and how it was like one of my favorite trips in the entire world. Um, take it a step further and put a picture of the two of you in Amsterdam. So go through the alphabet um, with this cute and simple printable that is also super thoughtful. Okay, so the next idea is more of, the focus is kind of more on the actual part of the giving rather than what's inside the gift. So I'm sure if your husband is like mine, he has certain favorites. Like my husband loves beef jerky. He loves Coke Zero. He loves just a bunch of random little things. But if I were to hand him a bag of beef jerky for Valentine's Day, he would be like, oh, thanks, you know, no big deal. But if you wrap it cute and do a fun delivery of the gift, it makes all the difference. What you're gonna do is you're going to wrap up each of his favorites. You're gonna grab like a bunch of things too. I try to do like eight, 10, or even 12 different favorites of his. And you wrap them up cute and then you put a time on here for him to open them. So since Valentine's Day is on the 14th, I thought on the 14th minute of every hour, you give him something else. To open. Again, we're talking these things can be so simple. You can make your own love coupons. Um, you can throw in maybe one or two like bigger gifts if that's your thing, but you can keep it super simple. It's totally up to you. Another idea instead of doing it on the 14th, maybe you can do, or on the 14th minute, you can maybe do um, however many Valentine's Days you guys are celebrating. So if it's your 10th Valentine's Day together, then do something at 8, 10, 9, 10. You get the idea. So again, not so much excitement as far as like what he's opening, but it's something to look forward to all day long and it just makes it a super fun idea. I should also mention that this idea was found, or I found this idea from my friend Mickey who has an amazing blog, 30 Handmade Days, go check her out. All right, if you guys are in a long distance relationship, we're talking like military, um, spouses that travel a lot, this next idea is perfect for you. These are called open win letters. And they each have a cute little title, open when you want me, open when it's your birthday, um, open when you're feeling happy, lots of different um, themes for lots of different envelopes. But what you'll do is you're going to fill all your envelopes, you're going to put them in a box, and then on the top you're going to have this one, open me first. And this says, I love you every day. Here are some envelopes just for you. Open when feeling happy or blue. They'll let you know in every way that I love you every single day. So you'll just attach, put that in your envelope, put it on the top, and then inside you're gonna put all of these. Now, each one of these have fun things that you can either dress up or just keep just a letter in it. So like this one, open when you want me. He's gonna open it, or she. And inside, we've got a bunch of these little kissy emojis. And this says, don't worry, sweet thing. I'll be covering you with kisses real soon. And you can just leave it like this, or these little emojis fit perfectly on the bottom 
of Hershey Kisses and you can put it either in the envelope or if you've got a big enough box, you can actually just throw that in here and put your little card just on the top. Open when you want me. Another envelope is open when you're worried. It says, don't worry about a thing. Together we can pick up the pieces. And in this, I would just stick just a box of Reese's Pieces or a bag if you can find them anywhere. And you just close it. So these are a really fun idea for those who are doing long distance relationships or even just the person you live with. I know, you can do it. You can even do it for non-spouses. You can do it for your kids. Uh, this one says open when you need a laugh. You can put Laffy Taffy in there. And then it's got a bunch of these crazy, funny dad jokes, I call them. Is your name Google? Because you're everything I'm searching for. Yeah. Are you a keyboard? Because you're just my type. I'm suffering from a lack of vitamin U. So really funny, corny kids will love it. Your spouse will love it. It's awesome. So there's another great idea. So our last idea is a um, really popular post on Somewhat Simple every Christmas and Valentine's. And if you were watching our Christmas ideas for couples, you might have seen this already, but I'm gonna explain it again because it's perfect for this day of love. This is a way to give your husband exactly what he wants, if you know what I mean, but it's tasteful and it's tame. So here's what you do. You get two boxes and you label them box number one and box number two. In box number one, I'll show you what I put in. You can totally do what you want. I got one of these back massagers. These are like just a couple bucks. I got this one at Target. I've seen these like at the gas station. Um, you can get them anywhere. Um, some massage oil or some lotion, whatever you prefer. That's in box number one. I'm actually not going to show you what's in box number two. Box number two, you're going to put in some lingerie or something that you feel comfortable in. So with box number one, you are going to include a little poem and we will have this printable also on Somewhat Simple. It says, I got you a back massager and some lotion for your feet. I'll rub them both, so just sit back and relax as I turn up the heat. And then it says, open box number two. Box number two, the poem says, so meet me in the bedroom, I'll greet you with a kiss and be prepared to have some fun because I'll be wearing this. And then there's the laundry. So there you go, super tasteful and tame, but exactly what he wants. So there you have it, four easy gifts that your sweetheart is sure to love. We're here every Friday, so come back next week and see what we're up to. We will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, bye. You need a sheepskin rug across there so you can like <laughs> play across there. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Do you have a swimsuit? As long as you Photoshop all of this. <laughs> As well. That would be fantastic. No, okay. I'm turning 67. Do you might not look at me. You seriously should not look a day over like 54. That your sweetheart is sure to love. That's where you come in. Okay. <laughs> She's like standing there smiling. Like, keep going. Okay. So that's one idea. Another one. Is this an open when you're feeling worried? No, I'm worried. <laughs> you fart. <laughs> Please right. tell me if that doesn't pick up. <laughs> Very thoughtful. It doesn't do it for me. What's wrong with you? I'm not kidding. Am I losing Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Told you. I'm not crazy. <laughs>